What the hell is going on here? He had some kind of attack. We were talking and he was hit with a pain. In your head? Yes, in his head. Let me take a look. I'm fine. Well, in that case... David! Oh. Ryan, don't play hero. You're hurt. Can you please help him? I will if he'll let me. Call 911. Angela. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. You okay? <sighs> what is it? What is it? I, uh, felt my way into the interrogation room. Oh, cops must think I'm crazy. Are you kidding? They're way too busy to even notice. What are you doing, Emmett? You came to see the mayor. <laughs> you know what? You might be fine with bagging your career, but I am not. And especially not when you're doing it for me, Jesse. You love your job. I love you more, Angela. I'm telling you, you can have both. What? While we ignore this enormous decision hanging over us? Do you think that I am not facing this medical crisis? I am. I have been dealing with it for weeks. Alone. Not anymore. You might not be able to see what's in my eyes right now, but you can hear what's in my voice, baby. And I'm with you. I know. And I can handle losing my sight. I can handle having a baby on top of that. What I can't handle, what I refuse to accept is you throwing your life away. No, you did it once to protect this family. I will not let you do it again. How is he? The neurosurgeon did a complete neuro exam and the CT perfusion studies show no vasospasm. English. Ryan should have never left the hospital. But he's going to be okay? We're still waiting on his blood work, but preliminary tests indicate that it was just a case of him overdoing it before he was fully recovered. Thank you. How'd he get out of here anyway? No one authorizes release. That's a good question, Dr. Hubbard. Can I see him? Yeah. Just don't hang around too long. We gave him something for his headache, so the biggest thing now is rest. You're here. You collapsed in my hotel room. Where else would I be? Hmm. I just wasn't sure that David would Shh. let you. Shh. You're supposed to be resting. But just so we're clear, David doesn't let me do anything. I'm the boss of me. Hmm. That's good to hear. Get some rest, okay? But I'll be fine. That's a promise. So you're not going to stay, sit vigil all night? You heard Frankie. Let's go home. I could use a drink. You? Sure. Why not? Vodka tonic. Scotch rocks. You've been drinking the hard stuff a lot lately. Mm, been that kind of day. Yeah, I bet. I know what you're thinking about what Ryan was doing in our room, but you're wrong. David, I want to say something to you, and I only want to say it once. I'm listening. I hate what you're doing to me. And I mean hate. But I think I understand it. Since when? 
So maybe understand isn't the best word. I think I can learn to live with it. And this isn't me forgiving you. And I don't ever see us going back to what we once were, but I have two choices here. I can either fight you tooth and nail for the rest of my life, or- You're giving up. No, I do not give up. Let's just say I'm making the best of an impossible situation. It's not always gonna be impossible for you. I'll keep saying this until you believe it. Someday we'll get back to how we were. It could be a year, five years, I don't care. But the day will come when you trust me again. Here you go. Thank you. There are all kinds of marriages. I got myself into this one, I'll get myself out. Be whatever, whoever you need me to be until I have you right where I want you. And when I finally make my move, you'll never see it coming. To marriage. To marriage.